Okay guys, so now we're now we're going to talk about how our week is going to be split. Uh, and for anyone who's been with us for a while, you're going to see some fairly substantial changes here. Um, I'll get Jamie to talk through group one very quickly. So group one, as we spoke about before, uh, our priority days are going to be on a Monday, or our critical days are going to be on a Monday, and actually now on a Thursday. Okay, that's how we're going to like it. So your Wednesday, if you come in on a Wednesday, fine, then will be stuff for you to do. We would encourage you to do either a catch up with these two days or some rest or mobility work. And then obviously for everyone over here, just throughout the week, it's gonna be a rest on a Sunday. We really encourage you guys to take that full rest on a Sunday. That doesn't mean going out for a 60 minute run. That means if you wanna go for a 30 minute walk in the sunshine, fine. If you wanna go for a light swim, fine. But anything where you're getting really out of breath, you don't really want you to do that on a Sunday either. So for our uh, Monday, it's gonna be lower body squat work to that squat to bend the ratio and midline work in general. In our Tuesday day, it's going to be upper body balance strength. Lots of people still know pull up yet, so we're working on that. And strict push ups, strict V bar dips, increasing our overhead press strength, all of that stuff's going to sit here. As I said, Wednesday's going to sit at the rest day. Thursday, we've written here grinder piece. What we mean by that is we're going to introduce some CrossFit mixed model specific things, but we're going to try and pace them in the right way, try and build your capacity through moving slightly heavier loads to transfer that onto our days over here, looking at our week overall. On Friday, we're going to go upper body. We are going to touch on our deadlift work, because we still want to keep that going up. But we're going to introduce more single leg knee flexion work, single leg squat work. And on Saturday, we're going to have a mix of some skill work and some upper body work. That skill work will be related to all the stuff we do in here, so you still get touched on that. Uh, and then our upper body work will be very similar, but different priorities to our Tuesday work. Included in here will still be some aerobic things, some pacing things, but those aren't our priorities for our group one. Cool, let me just, just to quickly add on that Wednesday rest day, um, really that day is designated uh, for you to, as Jamie said, either rest. It could also be a catch up day, so if you know you're not going to make a session later on the week or you missed a Monday, Tuesday session, it's a chance for you to get that session done. Um, it's also a day if you could come in and, and do kind of skill pieces as well if you want. Uh, I'm going to skip to, I'm going to move to group two now, which is actually the bottom. Um, so, to build on what Jamie said, obviously the priority of the week has changed somewhat. Monday is still going to be our lower body uh, focus day. We're going to focus on squat work as we've been doing. What we saw from the testing was that generally our, our performance competitors in the past have a deadlift which outweighs their squat. So we need to really focus on bringing those squat numbers up. And we're also going to move our snatching to a Monday, which has previously been on a Thursday. But the snatch focus right now is going to be very technical based. So think kind of lighter loads, more volume, and just developing awareness of what we want to achieve with different, with different movements in the snatch. Uh, the next one on a Tuesday is going to be upper body focus. Again, I'm very impressed. We are very impressed with the, the absolute strength of our performance competitors. Uh, but now our group two is going to be focusing on, on technical work, in particular the split jack. So think a lot of positional work behind the neck, um, kind of small broken down drills to help with that. Um, and we're also going to focus on scat scap and lat endurance and stability, uh, as well as some remedial work in the shoulder. Wednesday is going to be our mixed middle aerobic day now, uh, kind of tying in some of the moves we saw in testing week, we actually crushed people and threw them off their game plan, so you're going to see a lot more of that kind of stuff, I think that's a surprise. Uh, Thursday is going to be our skill day, um, it's going to be a rest day or a catch up day. Just very quickly, when you do see skill day, it doesn't mean there's not going to be a coach here, it's a chance for you to pick a skill that you feel needs working on. There's always going to be a coach or two here to help develop those skills with you. Uh, Friday, we're going to be focused on Olympic, Olympic lifting again, particularly just the clean and different variations of uh, supplementary exercises of that, as well as some single leg work and some upper body gymnastic based work. Uh, so at the moment, we're going to be focused on hands and push up. Saturday is going to be a skill day, as well as cyclical aerobic pacing and development. Uh, so, really just awareness you're in it. Uh, Pass over Jamie, you can talk about group three. Cool, uh, group three. Equally, just like a lot of other, uh, other groups, lower body strength work is going to be a squat priority for now. That's, this could change depending on what we see in testing in our next AP block. Then some Olympic lifting development work. This is going to be more positional work, probably stuff that doesn't relate completely to the lift yet, but we're trying to get you there and build you up a little slower. These are for people who maybe have less than two years of Olympic lifting experience. On our Tuesday day upper body stuff, we're going to try and prioritize some gymnastic movements as our A priority work, and B is just going to be touched on other strength work. It's going to be single arm pull work, it's going to be single arm press work, but it's just going to vary, but we really want to prioritize that gymnastics movements for our A work over here. 
Wednesday, very similar to our group two people. Uh, it's going to be mixed modal aerobic work, maybe slightly simpler, slightly less complex movements, but we still want to develop that engine and increase your pacing skill and knowledge through your own engine. Thursday, exactly the same as what Ed said for our group two guys. Um, skill, rest, and catch up day. Friday, we're going to go into a full body, really strength day. Okay, this is our big difference between our group three and group two, that we still need to prioritize our strength. You're going to actually see better development than just purely getting stronger. Right? Strict toaster bars in that test, you're going to get better keeping toaster bars if you are just stronger through your strength training bar. And then on Saturday, very similar now to our group two people as well, skill pieces, maybe slightly different, maybe slightly less complex, also into our cyclical aerobic stuff to build our engines. Perfect, I think just one more thing I want to add there. On the Tuesday upper body day, uh, just because of discrepancies in data, uh, and I guess two discrepancies in strengths and weaknesses of our group threes now, you're actually going to have two different programs. Uh, and that's, us as coaches are going to tell you which you need to focus on. Basically, program A is going to really focus on developing gymnastic strength. So typically with things like strict handstand push-ups, strict pull-ups, etc. Um, and the B program is going to really focus on absolute strength. Um, we're going to get into more details of that when you guys get to class and we'll explain everything when we get there. Um, if you guys do, do have any questions with regards to the new format, if you have any questions with regards to where you sit in as, athlete, as an athlete now with regards to our new group, please don't hesitate to get in touch with myself, Jamie, and or Andy, and we can happily answer those questions for you. Just remember guys, we're trying to do this to make you better, and we're trying to make the most uh, effective pathway for you to get there. It's not trying to pigeonhole you in any kind of way. We actually think, as coaches, this is the best way forward for you to get where you want to be. Thank you. Cheers.